Yo, what's good everybody? Blender here with another gold making video. And uh, you know, I hope you guys are ready to make some gold with this new update, because I'm about to show you some of the ways that you can. And you know, get prepared for the new update. So let's take a look. All right, let's get started. So this is stuff I've been working on for a while, you know, just jotting down things here and there as I find them in the PTR. Like, oh, we're going to make money on this. This is going to be something that's pretty important, so on and so forth. So uh, you guys seem to like when I shut the hell up and just get right to the point. So I'm going to put this uh, graphic on the screen, and it's just going to be a list of all the things that you're either going to A, want to start saving up for now, and B, things that you're going to want to go for and start farming right away when this patch hits. So let's do that. And then also... If you guys find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon if you guys want to see more. And I'm trying to quit my job and do this full time. And you guys can help me do that. Hell yeah. All right. So on to the video. Now, remember, after I go over this, we're going to go over why we're going to be getting all this stuff. So we've got room glass cases. These are going to be huge. That's why it's first on the list. Now these aren't necessarily in order, but this one is going to be huge. I repeat, you're gonna want, you're, we're gonna be able to sell these. They're buying on equip. Uh, the mats for them, the actual room glass cases themselves, because once you make the case, then they get to decide, the person that buys it, which gem they wanna put into it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a big money maker, guys. Big money maker. Ancient glob of ectoplasm, that's one of the mats for it. Pristine gems, everybody is going to want these new uh, rune glass gems everybody it's going to be a necessity they are awesome especially the leeching ones and we'll talk about that a little bit later too so any cut pristine gems there's going to be a demand for them uh, sandstone block it's a new material that you can farm in brimstone same thing with sulfur chunk and then the sulfur chunks get converted into sulfur or refined into sulfur um, it's all part of the big picture here uh, pure solvent, that's going to be another thing for the rune glass gems. And gold ingots. Now, it only takes one ingot to make the rune glass gem, but you're going to see people uh, buying them on the marketplace. You know, they're not going to want to go out and farm it. So gold is, I don't know how much it's going to go up in price. It may not even go up in price, but there is going to be a demand for gold ingots for sure. The new Chitin armor, it's all buying and equip. You can sell it. And also the mats for making that stuff, the Chitin plates, Chitin parts you get from scorpions. Or, I'm sorry, not Chitin. It is Chitin. I looked it up and somebody did correct me, so my bad. Uh, Chitin padding. These are all buy on equip stuff, guys. This is all stuff that we can sell on the market. Cactus flesh, golden scarabs. That's a big one. It's going to give you the option to get two. You can pick two perks. It's crazy. Glyph stones. Not necessarily the night glyph stones, just glyph stones in general. Um, and we'll talk about that later. Charge sand, aloe gel. That's something you get from the desert, brimstone sands. Pretty much all the um, the cooldown materials, runic, phoenix weave, uh, glittering ebony, asmodium, they're going to be used for a bunch of stuff. The uh, Halloween event weapons, which I don't know when that event's coming out, but anyway, um, that's something that you're going to want to be on the lookout for. And then uh, they're also going to be used for new great swords. So the craftable great swords are going to be using all those materials, and it's going to be using the the obscure materials I was talking about in my other video. You know, we're going to be able to convert these things out of you know your basic raw materials. So like you're going to be able to turn iron ore into fey iron now and stuff like that. But these are going to be used in the new great swords. And trust me. There's people on the PTR asking for empowered counterbalances all the time. That's because it's required. You need like two or three of them to make the new great swords. And these new great swords are pretty lit and everybody's going to want to be making those great swords. So great swords, you're going to see a surge in sales with those. Um, glittering Ebony Asmodium went over that. Void Metal Shift Hide, those are those obscure materials I'm talking about. You can convert them now. They are going to be used for the new great swords. Um, timeless shards are going to be used with the golden scarabs and then your, you know, your battle metals, your beaded straps, linen, arcane embroidery, all these things that you need for those timeless shards. Um, you're going to be, they're going to be using those for the golden scarabs. Also, you need those with the golden scarabs and iron guardsman insignia, soft prayer wood beads or soft wood prayer beads. And then we've got a couple more runestone that's going to be, uh, used for the heart gem runes. 
you're going to have to craft th that's for the major ones um it's going to be another necessity everybody's going to be making them everybody's going to be upgrading them you're going to need a ton of rune stone and then same thing with the corrupted lodestone that's used for the heart gems obsidian flux that's used for the sulfur refining the new materials layered leather is going to be for the chitin padding and all that stuff chitin armor and then uh, obsidian sandpaper is also going to be used so again this is just a quick look at what we're going to be what you're going to want to buy what you're going to want to be saving up and what you're going to want to start farming and looking for when this new update hits so now let's get into the nitty gritty and the details and i'll be i guess i can put these in like an excel spreadsheet or something if you guys want to reference you know like a little cheat sheet and uh yeah that'll be in the description so there you go enjoy now details let's go all right guys so this is probably going to be a little bit longer of a video because i do like details i like to give you details but i also wanted to do that beginning part just to help out the uh, impatient people that want to get right to the damn point so hope you guys like it hope it helps uh first thing i want to talk about the most important one i think the uh the most popular thing is probably going to be these new rune glass gems now i have a video on how to make them how to farm the materials and uh all that stuff using them testing the leaching full leaching set of rune glass gems so i'm not going to go into where to find all these materials i'm just going to quickly tell you which materials you're going to want to start farming and what you're going to want to get as soon as this update hits and that's why i was saying that's and that's why I mentioned the gold ingots. You only need one, but everybody's going to want several sets of these. And it's, you know, the gold ingots aren't hard to get. The gold is not hard to farm, but everybody's impatient. And you're probably going to see a surge in sales with the gold ingots. And I don't think they're going to really go up in price. Maybe they will. I don't know. But it's something you're definitely going to want to have. You will probably be able to make some money on it. And also pure solvent. You might see a little bit of an increase in that. Um, if nothing else, just make sure you have some so that you can make these and you're going to be able to sell these and you're going to be able to make a lot of money because they are a pain in the ass to farm uh, certain things that we're going to go over here in a second. So this is why we're going to want cut pristine gems, start saving up, start stocking up, start farming them. These are going to surge in the marketplace and uh, I do see these going up in price quite a bit. There's going to be a huge, huge demand for them and there's going to be so many people coming to this uh playing this game and coming back to new world that i don't think we're going to have enough to be honest maybe we will i don't know if nothing else the bots will take care of it so um other than that you're also going to be able to craft and make the actual rune glass cases the rune glass cases are the main thing and the hard thing to farm because of these stupid glyph stones these glyph stones are a pain in the butt the ancient glob of ectoplasm are a pain in the butt the sulfur eh, it's kind of a pain in the butt and then the charred sand's not too bad and the rune glass case if i were you guys i wouldn't i probably wouldn't be crafting the actual gems but crafting the cases this part these are also buy on equip so you can sell these and i think the the ones that are going to be the most popular are right here and these are the ones that you're going to really want to farm when the update comes out i don't know which gems are going to be in the most in demand but i do know which cases are going to be in demand and that is going to be four of them so leeching, punishing, sided, and energizing. And I'm gonna show you why. Leeching is self-explanatory. You're gonna be able to get uh, life steal. That's gonna be huge. These are probably gonna be the most sought after. So you're gonna want a bunch of the rune glass case of leeching and you know all the materials that go with it. Also the punishing, that's gonna be melee damage, increase melee damage. Melee attacks do an additional 2% damage. These do stack and you can get five of them. You know, one on each piece of gear. Can't put them in jewelry. Oh, and your weapon, you could put them in your weapon. So five, six, seven, you know, two weapons and then five pieces of gear. So punishing, melee, um, leeching, life steal, and sighted is range damage. Your range attacks do an additional 2% damage and then energizing. And I'm gonna do a video, uh, hopefully maybe tonight or tomorrow on the energizing a full set. It's stamina, gain four stamina with each successful hit, three second cooldown. So if you've got, you know, six of those, you know five of them and then your equipped weapon or your your drawn weapon that's going to be a lot of stamina and that's why i want to test it so be on the lookout for that now let's go over the glyph stones that you're going to be using to make these so here we go at the very bottom so for leeching you're going to need the food glyphs and the gift glyphs 
and you could find these. And remember guys, I made a video on how to farm these, where to get them, and how to craft all this stuff. So, you know, check out the video if you want more information. But I will quickly show you, as an example, where to get these two, how to find out where to farm them at. And there's only one spot where you can farm each one of these. So, for example, the Food Glyph Stone, we're just going to take a look at one of my favorite websites. This website is so helpful. NWDB, it will also be in the description. But we're going to look at Gift, and that should be all I need to type. So, Gift Glyph Stone. So these are at Hermopolis. Where's Hermopolis? Right here. So this is Hermopolis in Brimstone Sands. These are all gonna be in Brimstone Sands, but each glyph is gonna or drop in a different area. So this is the only place you're gonna be able to get the gift glyphs. And then the food glyphs, you're gonna get at Castrum Victualis. And again, you can find that out by just typing in food up here. And you're gonna look at the food glyph stone and ca Castrum Victualis is the only spot you can go through all the pages and that's the only place it drops. So now you guys know how to find out where to farm these different glyphs and why you're gonna want these different glyphs and which glyphs you're gonna want. So you're gonna want the food and the gift. Those are probably gonna be the most expensive, the most sought after, and they are very, very annoying to farm, let me tell you. And then you're also going to probably want the punishing, which is the strength glyph and the destruction glyph stones. And then the sight, which is the range damage. That's going to be the above glyph stones and destruction. So destruction and gift are used in, in two of these. So those are going to be, you know, pretty, pretty good ones to get. And then the energizing for the stamina, that's the other gift glyph stone and then the water glyph stone. So that's where you get those. The ancient globs of ectoplasm, those are also Biden equip. So you can sell them, you can trade them, you can put them on the marketplace. And these are going to be, you're gonna see a bunch of these on the market and probably a pretty decent price. So as soon as this patch comes out, I would start farming the crap out of these glyphs and the ancient glob of ectoplasm. Why? Because all of these take the ectoplasm. And then that brings us to sulfur. Again, I made a video on where to get all this stuff. And that's why this is on the list of stuff that you're going to want to get. And then also charged sand. Charged sand is going to be crafted in the stone cutting table and it takes sandstone blocks. And again, this is also in the video where to farm a map, but pretty much, you know, all over brimstone. And let me show you guys how to find the sandstone blocks really quick. So another one of my favorite websites is newworldmap.com. Any materials that you guys are looking for, this is going to be a, play, a good place to find them. And what you're going to want to do is turn everything off. Just hit the hide all button and then type in sandstone and boom, you can find all the different sandstone in the game. And this is going to be another pretty hot commodity. And that also brings me to the obsidian sandpaper. You're going to be using a lot of sandstone and a lot of sandpaper. So you might see a little bit of an increase in the sandpaper. So another thing you might want to start stocking up on, maybe buying it if it's cheap. So that's pretty much it for the rune glass gems and all the materials associated with those. Next up on the list is the chitin armor, or if you want to annoy people, chitin or chitin armor. So just type in chitin at the forge, and it requires all your legendary materials, or three of them, Asmo, Runic Leather, and Phoenix Weave. So that's one reason I believe that these are going to go up in price. Maybe not a lot, but I think there is going to be a more of a demand for them, absolutely, because these are going to be required for the armor and for the Halloween event items and a couple other things the great swords you know all kinds of stuff so there's going to be a i believe a huge demand i could be completely wrong but i'm almost positive and it's going to require chitin plate and chitin padding so the padding is made from the chitin plates and you make those over at the leatherworking station so i'm going to show you guys that here in a second and it also requires aloe gel and cactus flesh. If you want to see where to farm all this stuff, including the plates and the chitin and all the stuff you're going to need, check out my video on the chitin armor. I just posted it last night and you can find out where to farm all this stuff. I'm just showing you guys what you're going to want to farm and start saving up. So definitely, definitely runic leather, phoenix weave. They're also used to make the padding and the armor. And then the aloe gel and cactus flesh, super, super easy to farm, but it takes forever to get the cactus flesh. Aloe gel is probably going to be cheaper, but the cactus flesh, that's, first of all, it requires 30 for one, and you only get like one or two at a time, and it really sucks. Now for the chitin plate, you're going to go over to the tanner, and this is why the leather 
is on the list of materials that you're going to want to either save or start farming up or buying it if it's cheap. You're going to need layer leather to make the chitin plate. And you're also going to need chitin parts, which you're going to get from scorpions, which are in brimstone. And you're going to need some tannin. So these, the reason I think this is so important, everybody, is because I'm really, really set on the fact that you're going to have to have acid resistance for this new world boss. Now, if I'm wrong and the world boss doesn't have acid, like literally every other mob in the new brimstone area does acid, except for the worm, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a bunch of acid resistance. So that's why I think it's gonna be a good idea to stock up on this stuff, save it, make yourself a couple sets, you know, a healing set, a DPS set, um, whatever, you know, just get prepared. And if I'm wrong, at least you'll have the armor and the acid resistance to farm all the materials for all this stuff that's gonna make you a crap load of money because you're gonna need the acid resistance for all kinds of stuff, you know, farming the ectoplasm, farming the sulfur, just take my word for it. It's gonna come in handy big time. If nothing else, use it for that. So next is the golden scarabs. These are going to be insane. They're not buying on pickup. You can sell them, you can trade them. They allow you to pick two perks on your weapons, gear, armor. It's crazy. And that's why I say that they're gonna A, be super, super sought after. There's no like limit on how many you can get per day, you're gonna loot them. Uh, they gonna, they're gonna take three timeless shards, which is why timeless shards are gonna be, they're gonna go up in demand and probably up in price. And you're gonna need a ton of the battle medals, the guardsman insignias, the uh, the rough you know beaded straps and all that stuff. And again, you're gonna need the legendary materials. So legendary materials, this is like the third or fourth reason that they're gonna go up in price and the, the battle medals and stuff and all that stuff. And just think about it. This is going to be make it easier to craft best in slot or at least really, really good gear. Just imagine, you know, resilient, uh, freedom, and then your third perk, refreshing or something. It's going to be crazy. So Golden Scarabs, as soon as the patch comes out, start doing uh, elite chest runs in the new area, et cetera, et cetera. And, well, there you go. That's why all these materials are also on the list of stuff that's going to be making you some money. Halloween event weapons. I'm going to play a little clip for you really quick of me crafting my second Halloween event weapon. I crafted two life staffs. The first one was dog crap, but the second one was best in slot. Check this out. So number one, these patterns are super easy to get as of right now. I heard through the grapevine that there might be more to the Halloween event than what you guys seen in the video that I made. But as of right now on the PTR, it's super easy. Um, but look at that. Look at the stats that you get. This is I only crafted like two or three weapons and I got a best in slot. So the, the materials you need are just the cooldowns and then the pattern. So you can definitely expect to see a more of a demand for these cooldown materials and of course an increase in price oh by the way i made a video on the halloween event so check it out <laughs> so let's talk about heart moon gems and the materials for that so i don't want to freak you guys out uh, i did make a video on the heart moon gems how to get the uh, quest line unlocked because you are going to have to do a quest line to unlock the actual slot where you can put these so that you can use them now the minor heart runes you're going to get those from the expedition or as a last resort, repeat, last resort, 8,000 materia. You are not going to have to get all this materia to get your heart runes. You're probably, there's a really good chance you're going to get them as an expedition drop. This is, just think of this like the, uh, the named weapons and armor that you can make with materia. It's just a last resort if you're super, super unlucky and don't get the one you want. So probably never going to be using materia to get your heart room. Now, once you have your miner, then you can upgrade to the major. And what the major does is it gives you a perk on top of the initial ability. And these perks are amazing. Let me tell you, if you want to see them in action, I've got the legendary heart rune. Uh, part of my, it's in my leeching, full set of leeching gear video that I made. And it is amazing. I use the dark ascent and it has leeching on the dark ascent. And then also gives you fortify. You could pick through different perks. I mean, this whole system is amazing, but that's not what the video is for. Everybody's going to be needing the rune stone. Everybody's going to need the corrupted lodestone, the sulfur. So these are some things that you could start farming now, and you're going to probably see a pretty decent increase in price. So that's something you can start doing 
right this second. So that brings us to the final thing on the list, and that is the materials to craft these named great swords. Now I'm assuming, this is pure speculation, but I'm assuming these new great swords are gonna be buy on equip and you could sell them. And the only reason I say that is because, you know, some of them say buy on pickup, but none of the great swords say buy on pickup. So that leads me to believe that they're buy on equip. And unfortunately I cannot find any empowered counterbalances. So I can't tell you for sure, but if you can't sell them, and they are buying on pickup, you can bet your ass people are gonna be crafting them for themselves. So still, you know, we're gonna have a need for these materials. And on the PTR, every day I log into the PTR, which actually is every day, I see people asking for the empowered counterbalances. So these are going to go up in price, I'm almost positive. And then this is just another reason why the legendary cooldown materials are gonna go up. So. I mean, there are so many new uses for all this stuff. It's going to be crazy. I don't know how much it's going to go up, but, you know, definitely start thinking about it. And then the, of course, the empowered counterbalance and also the, the void metal shift hide, all those obscure materials that we never use as the right chunks. That's all going to be used for crafting these named great swords, man. That looks so cool. I can't wait. So speaking of that, if you didn't catch out, catch my video on the new, you know, conversions that we can do, check this out. I just ran in a circle. Hope nobody caught that, but we're going to have a new category in all the different refining stations. And you can now use basic materials and convert them to this stuff as a right chunk, less crucibles, et cetera, et cetera. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have or found this video helpful. Uh, it took me a while to gather all the information, so I'm, I'm sure you guys appreciate it, right? And I'll go ahead and say it again. Oh, my God, look at this. <laughs> if you guys uh, found, the video, found the video enjoyable, helpful, whatever you want to call it, don't forget to like and subscribe and continue to get more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any other gold makers, you know, help out the community. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any other ideas of ways to make money and capitalize on this new update. Thanks for watching, everyone. Y'all take it easy.